and welcome back to the channel everybody. So unfortunately that is it for our season. So we're back over the storage yard and yeah, we're getting the van set up for the winter period. Uh, just gonna go back inside now, get all the areas um, uh, set up, doors open, just getting it ready for maximum circulation for the uh, winter period. Just again, we get no build up of moisture or anything along those lines. And uh, so that, then when we come back in the, the new year, uh, should be good to go. But um, yeah, we're heading and I'll go through some of the things that we do. So when it comes to the front of the van, when we're getting it ready for winter storage, again, the key is around circulation, air circulation, obviously stop any sort of moisture uh, building up in certain areas. So again, you want to empty your cupboards, make sure your doors are left open. Um, in terms of the uh, bedding area or couch area again you just want to lift those up just so again you get that circulation coming through and then when it comes to the windows I won't pull the blinds down I'll just close the curtains and again that way it just allows circulation of the air and if there is any moisture it doesn't transfer onto the blinds and they cause them to go mouldy um, so yeah that's what I'll do in this area close all these up in a sec um, and the other area is be mindful of your sunroof blind. If you pull that right down, um, what you'll find is it will actually lose its memory if you're not careful. So actually when you push that back up in the uh, summer season, you may find it doesn't fold back up properly. So um, yeah, pull it down slightly, but not all the way, just so again, you're not putting too much tension on that. And again, we'll open up the wardrobe door as well. And again, for the roof, again, we'll pull them across slightly, but leave a gap just so again, we get some air through, um, actually using the, the vents in the windows themselves. So this is the front area. This is how I'll leave it all, all set up, ready for the winter period. And obviously over there, coming weeks, months, I will come over and just check on it from time to time just to make sure that there isn't any leaks for any reason, any sort of unknown issues. But um, I've certainly done this for the last few years and certainly had nothing, not even a sort of a, a drop of water or look of condensation within the van. So it certainly works for us. When it comes to the kitchen area, this will be no different. Again, cupboards open before we leave. This this will be open for this cupboard. And more importantly, you want to just make sure that your fridge is slightly ajar, both at the, the top here for your freezer area, if you have that, and your fridge. Just don't latch it completely. Just keep it there. And again, that will stop any mould and mildew building up inside the fridge over the quarter months. Not too much to say about the bathroom, to be fair. Again, you've got your little small cupboards you can open up. Um, obviously, certainly with your taps, again, just make sure that they're all up. But again, your, your system should be all empty now for the winter period. And the same with your toilet. That should contain no water whatsoever. That should have been um, flushed out. Um, and uh, yeah. That's one of the sort of key areas from, from in here. You may have forgot, obviously you've got the cassette as one area, but the flush uh, itself needs to be emptied out as well. So the rear of the caravan is no different. Obviously the lockers will remain open. I'll use the curtains along here in a second. And there, the difference will be over this where there is no curtains and I'll just you have to use the the, the two blinds for the top and the bottom. Again, lifted some of the seating area to get some airflow. What you do need to be careful, anything that you are storing in here that would have got damp over the course of the sort of last few weeks and months um, towards the, the winter season, you just need to make sure that these are 100% dry. You do not want any sort of items, your awning, porches, chairs, anything along those lines that you store to be wet in any way. So make sure that they are dried and aired out 
prior to being left if you're going to leave anything in the car mode. As like the front, this is what the the rear will look like whilst it's being stored. So just looking at the analytics again, 90% uh, of you aren't subscribed. Obviously that number is creeping up now, but um, yeah, if you are liking the content, if you could consider subscribing to the channel, that would really be appreciated and it does allow the, gr uh, the channel to grow. So um, yeah, it's free, just tick the subscribe button. Rightio, so that should give you an overview of how we set our caravan up for the winter period. Again, not rocket science, it's just a case of, yeah, like I say, you're just trying to get that maximum airflow. Uh, and people do it different ways to suit them, but um, this is how we do ours, uh, and it's worked for us for a number of years now. Uh, when we've come over in the new year, again, it's uh, always been good to go. So, um, yeah, like I say, follow those sort of simple things. Uh, like I say, use the curtains instead of the blinds. Again, you're not putting any tension on the spring, so they'll last longer. Um, it allows more airflow down between the curtains uh, themselves, uh, which you probably wouldn't get if you were using the blinds. Um, you, again, you want to make sure that your gas is off. All that is um, switched off under the, the locker. Uh, you're going to make sure that your water system's completely uh, opened up. The taps are open, so you've got a, as much water out of the actual system as you can. And again, you, obviously, the, for obvious reasons, you don't want that freezing up and then splitting any pipes. You always get a little bit left in the system, but again, I find that to be fine. I've had no issues with that, and certainly the toilet. Just make sure that the flushing system is completely empty and the same as the cassette itself. Again, you don't want that freezing up. But um, overall, again, this should sort of give you a sort of bit of a visual of what we've done. Get the seating um, cushions again, so they're vertical. So again, you're getting that airflow through. Um, open up your cupboards as much as many as you can. And again, uh, one of the key ones is your fridge. Just prop that open. By doing that again, you won't come back to a sort of a, a mouldy fridge when you go to open it. And again, the same for, for the freezer compartment. Just find something just to prise that open slightly. Uh, and the same with the door. And again, that way you maximize um, not coming back with any issues. But as always, uh, hopefully you found this uh, video helpful. Uh, if you can like, subscribe and share the, the content, that would be great. And I will see you all on the next one.